Welcome to our guide on how to spend three days in Madrid, Spain. With this itinerary, you'll be able to experience the best of Madrid in just three days, from its cultural landmarks to its culinary delights. So pack your bags and get ready for an unforgettable adventure in the heart of Spain. On day one, we will have a look at historical and cultural highlights. Start your adventure at Puerta del Sol, the very heart of Madrid. This bustling square is not only a central hub for locals and tourists alike, but also the starting point for Spain's six major roads. Take a moment to snap a photo with the iconic Oso y Madrono, Bear in the Strawberry Tree statue, which symbolizes the city. From Puerta del Sol, it's just a short walk to the Plaza Mayor, a stunning historic square that dates back to the 17th century. Surrounded by elegant arcaded buildings, Plaza Mayor is perfect for a leisurely stroll. Make sure to admire the vibrant frescoes on the Casa de la Panaderia and perhaps enjoy a coffee at one of the many outdoor cafes that line the square. Next, head to the Royal Palace, Palacio Real, one of Europe's largest and most opulent palaces. This grand building, which is still used for state ceremonies, boasts over 3,000 rooms filled with stunning artworks, elaborate tapestries, and exquisite furniture. Highlights include the throne room, the royal armory, and the breathtaking royal chapel. Don't forget to take a walk through the beautifully manicured Sabatini Gardens and Campo del Moro Gardens for some picturesque views and a bit of tranquility. For lunch, make your way to the Mercado de San Miguel, a gourmet tapas market located just a stone's throw from the Royal Palace. This vibrant market is a food lover's paradise, offering a wide variety of Spanish delicacies, from fresh seafood to Iberian ham. Grab a selection of tapas and a glass of local wine and enjoy the lively atmosphere as you savor the flavors of Spain. After lunch, visit the Almudena Cathedral, located adjacent to the Royal Palace. This stunning cathedral, with its striking neo-Gothic exterior and vibrant interior, is a must-see. Climb to the rooftop for panoramic views of the city and the Royal Palace. Next, take a short walk to the Temple of Debod, an ancient Egyptian temple that was gifted to Spain in the 1960s. Located in the Parque del Oeste, this fascinating monument offers a unique glimpse into ancient Egyptian architecture. The temple is especially beautiful at sunset, when the structure is illuminated, casting reflections in the surrounding pool. As evening approaches, head to Gran Villa, Madrid's most famous shopping street. This bustling avenue is lined with theaters, shops, and restaurants, making it the perfect place for an evening stroll. Admire the beautiful architecture including the iconic Metropolis building, and soak in the lively atmosphere. For dinner, make your way to the Malasana neighborhood, known for its trendy vibe and eclectic dining scene. Whether you're in the mood for traditional Spanish cuisine or something more international, Malasana has something for everyone. Enjoy a leisurely meal and perhaps a cocktail or two at one of the neighborhood's many stylish bars. On to day two, where we explore art and parks. Begin your second day at the Prado Museum, Museo del Prado one of the world's premier art museums. The Prado's extensive collection includes masterpieces by Spanish artists such as Velázquez, Goya, and El Bosco, as well as works by European masters like Titian and Rubens. Plan to spend a few hours here, as the museum's vast collection can easily fill an entire morning. After your art-filled morning, head to the nearby Retiro Park, Parque del Buen Retiro, for lunch. This expansive park, once a royal retreat, is now a favorite spot for locals and visitors alike. You can either grab a picnic lunch from a nearby cafe or enjoy a meal at one of the park's charming cafes. After lunch, take some time to explore the park's many attractions, including the serene lake where you can rent a rowboat, the stunning Crystal Palace, and the meticulously landscaped gardens. In the afternoon, continue your exploration of Madrid's art scene with a visit to the Reina Sofia Museum. This modern art museum is home to an impressive collection of 20th century art, including works by Salvador Dali, Joan Miro, and most famously, Pablo Picasso's Guernica. The museum's extensive collection offers a fascinating look at the evolution of modern art, making it a must visit for any art enthusiast. For the evening, head to the Lava Pies neighborhood, known for its vibrant multicultural atmosphere. This eclectic area is home to a diverse range of bars, restaurants, and cultural spaces, making it the perfect place to experience Madrid's dynamic nightlife. Enjoy a leisurely dinner at one of the neighborhood's many tapas bars, sampling dishes from around the world, and perhaps catch some live music or a cultural event. Lastly, day three, time to explore modern Madrid and the hidden gems. 
Start your final day in Madrid at Plaza de España, an iconic square that marks the beginning of Gran Villa. Take some time to admire the striking monument to Cervantes, featuring statues of Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. From here, walk towards Calle de Bailén, which offers fantastic views of the city and the royal palace. Next, take a trip to Casa de Campo, Madrid's largest park. The easiest way to reach this expansive green space is by taking the cable car, or teleferico, from Paseo del Pintor Rosales. The ride offers stunning aerial views of the city and the park. Once you arrive, you can rent bikes, paddle boats, or simply enjoy a leisurely walk through the park's many trails. For lunch, head to the historic La Latina neighborhood. This area is famous for its traditional Spanish cuisine and lively atmosphere, especially around Cava Baja Street. Choose from a variety of tapas bars and restaurants and enjoy a leisurely meal in one of Madrid's most charming neighborhoods. In the afternoon, make your way to the Chueca neighborhood, known for its fashionable streets, unique shops, and stylish cafes. This lively district is a great place to explore on foot, with plenty of opportunities for shopping and people watching. Be sure to visit the Mercado de San Anton, a modern market offering gourmet treats and a rooftop terrace with fantastic views of the city. If you're a football fan, no visit to Madrid would be complete without a tour of the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, home of Real Madrid. Even if you're not a die-hard supporter, the stadium tour offers a fascinating look at the history and grandeur of one of the world's most famous football clubs. The tour includes access to the dressing rooms, the trophy room, and the pitch itself. For your final dinner in Madrid, head to the Chambéry neighborhood, known for its elegant streets and excellent restaurants. This area offers a more laid-back and sophisticated dining experience, perfect for a memorable last meal in the city. Enjoy traditional Spanish dishes, or try something more contemporary, and soak in the charming atmosphere of this delightful neighborhood. Three days in Madrid is just enough time to get a taste of everything this incredible city has to offer. Madrid is a city that will capture your heart and leave you longing to return. Check out the video on screen for more travel ideas. Adios!